children, welcome to the Year 3 Science. Welcome to the lesson Spring. This lesson has been designed for a 30 minutes lesson period. This lesson comprises of five segments. Looking around us. Our science lab. Mr. SPI will tell you about song and what have we learned today? This video is designed with fun with science in mind. You will have a fun time watching the segment and enhancing your knowledge on the concepts you have learned in school. In segment looking around us, we will learn what spring is and where can you find a spring and uses of the spring. In segment Our Science Lab, we will learn that how to make your own spring. Carry out the fair test to find out different spring stretch to different length. In segment Mr. SPI will tell you about we will learn that springs are used in many of the things and different kinds of spring are used for different purposes. In segment songs, we will have a fun time singing a song about spring. In segment What Have We Learned Today, we will see the important points from these lessons. Hello everybody, my name is Mr. SPI, S for science, P for private and I for investigator. Today I am your host. Welcome to the Science Zone. From here, I will take you to explore the world of science. Today, our mission is to learn about spring. Many things around us have springs in them. So, what is a spring? How does a spring behave? And where can you find these springs? This is a spring. A spring is a coiled piece of metal. However, springs can also be made from other materials. A spring can be bent. A spring can be twisted. A spring can be stretched and a spring can be squeezed. A spring will return to its original size and shape after being bent, twisted, stretched or squeezed. Springs are used in many things that we see and use every day. These are some of those things. 
An umbrella opens up easily because there is a spring in it. A spring connects a battery to the bulb. The cutter opens up easily with the help of a spring. The spring in a hatlet helps to hold your hair in place. A spring is used in a ballpoint pen. It helps the ink container to pop in and out. You can also find a spring in a stapler. Its job is to keep the staples in place. How does this cradle move? Well, it needs a very strong spring. You can find springs almost anywhere. Motorbike, car, hole puncher, bicycle. Playground. A spring is a coiled piece of metal. However, springs can also be made from other materials. A spring can be bent. A spring can be twisted. A spring can be stretched and a spring can be squeezed. A spring will return to its original size and shape after being bent, twisted, stretched or squeezed. Springs are used in many things that we see and use every day. These are some of those things. An umbrella opens up easily because there is a spring in it. A spring connects a battery to the bulb. The cutter opens up easily with the help of a spring. The spring in a hatlet helps to hold your hair in place. A spring is used in a ballpoint pen. It helps the ink container to pop in and out. You can also find a spring in a stapler. Its job is to keep the staples in place. Hello friends! Today we are going to learn more about spring. A spring is a coil or bent piece of metal that jumps back into position when you press it and then let it go. I can show you how to make your own spring. You need a piece of wire and a pencil. Now, wind the piece of wire around your pencil Tada! You have a spring but be careful with the sharp ends of the spring one more thing, different spring stretch to different length. Some stretch more than other spring. Let's do an experiment to find it out. Here are two springs of different lengths. This is a short spring. And this is a long spring. Now, I am going to hang the same amount of weight on both springs.
look, the long spring stretches more than the short spring does. This experiment tells us that a spring with a bigger diameter stretches more than a spring with a smaller diameter. Aha! So do not hang objects that are too heavy on a spring. It will damage it. Spring? Ah, springs are used in many of the things we see around us every day. Some springs are short and some are long. Some springs have bigger diameters than others. And springs can also be thick or thin. These springs support our bodies when we sleep. Actually, there are hundreds of little springs inside a mattress. Their job is to make us comfortable. Look at this sofa. It has springs in it too. The small springs in the sofa help to support us when we sit. That's why sofas are so comfortable. Can you name other objects that have springs in them to make people feel comfortable? See you soon! In this lesson, you have learned about spring. Spring come in different diameters. Springs come in different lengths. We can stretch the spring. The spring becomes longer. We can squeeze the spring. The spring becomes shorter. We can bend the spring. The spring changes shape. We can twist the spring. The spring changes shape. Different springs stretch to different length. How do we find out which spring stretches more? To plan a fair test to compare which spring stretches more, we need to decide what to keep the same, what to change, what to measure. We use a weight to stretch the springs. This is what we keep the same. We use the same weight. We test different springs. 
We use springs with different lengths. We also use springs with different diameters. This is what we change. We measure how far each spring stretches. Then we compare the stretch of each spring. The spring that stretches the furthest stretches the most. This is what we measure. Springs are used in many things that we see and use every day. We learnt that some objects use springs to help them work. The springs help us to use objects easily. There is a spring in the hair clip. We twist the spring on the hair clip to open it. We let go of the spring on the hair clip to close it. This is a spring in the ballpoint pen. The spring helps us to use the ballpoint pen for writing. We squeeze the spring in the ballpoint pen. There is a spring on the cutter. The spring is used to open the cutter easily. We squeeze the spring on the cutter to cut an object. We let go of the spring and it returns to its original length. There is a spring on the spring rider. The spring helps to move the spring rider backwards and we bend the springs. What happens if there is no spring in these objects? Can we still use these objects without a spring? That's all for today. I hope you will remember what you learnt from Ibrahim and me at the Science Zone. Goodbye.